Today, I want to talk about the idea of bravery. Now, being brave can be, you know, doing something absolutely tremendous. But biblically, I think it can also be not doing something. Let me explain. Welcome to Bible Time. I'm Raj Nair, and you and I are here simply to renew our joy for Scripture. The Israelites are in captivity. They're in exile in Babylon, and King Nebuchadnezzar builds this huge statue to himself and says, hey, you Israelite people, bow down and worship before me. Now, here's the crazy concept. Everyone did, except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And if those three guys, those three random dudes in history, had just bowed their knee, I'm not so sure you and I would even be talking to each other. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And his attitude towards them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace was so hot, the flames of the fire killed the soldiers soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Now pause. This should be the end of the story. The whole history of the world tilts on its axis at this exact moment. King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, weren't there three men that were tied up and thrown into the fire? They replied, certainly, your majesty. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed. I think this last part might be one of the coolest verses in all of scripture. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. So what does that mean for you and I? I don't know. Maybe it means just not bowing down to what the world is telling us to do. I do know that if we can have the faith, the heroism, the bravery of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, God is going to use you and I in some mighty ways. All right, much love. God bless.